This video was brought to you by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Hey, during the latest update of Moon Teaser, the Blue Moon, which, by the way, is on founding campaign, help me found more features for the game, please. I'll put them in the description and on the pilot comment. But during the, the update, I wanted to add some Easter eggs from another game, Furry Paradox, which I will also put the link in the description if you want to play it. Both Moon Teaser and Firm Paradox, Firm Parallax, you can play on the web version, so you just, it, it's for free, you can play it. Please leave a rating as well. I wanted to pick one object from a game and in, insert in another project, so make some kind of a shared universe. And for that, I made what I called a scene bundler, but now I renamed to asset bundler, which is a tool let me change, which is a tool that allows you to make, um, let me open this with Atom, which is a, a tool, a good tool that helps you uh, port objects and scenes from one project to another. So essentially it basically just copy the, the scene, it makes a bundle, a bundle folder and picks every dependency and throw and copy these the dependencies to that folder. Let me show how this works. I almost forgot about that. 70% <laughs> of you are not subscribed. I don't know how this video actually reached you, but if YouTube recommended it to you, maybe you enjoy game development. If that's the case, please consider subscribing to this channel right now. Don't leave this to later. Subscribe now. If you don't enjoy it, you can unsubscribe later. And also, if you enjoy game development, consider subscribing, no, uh, join our community on Discord. I'll put the link in the description as well. There we talk all day long about game development. I will give you support. We will talk about business, project management, uh, everything related to game, to game development. So that's it. Let's go back to the video. So I want to port the Paradox boss, which is the boss of Fermi Parallax, to Moon Teaser to make like a, a Easter egg on this, uh, on this scene here where the, the mouse is supposed to be traveling the universe searching for another moon so i want the um, the boss to be right on the background like chasing hiding somewhere there so for that uh, i developed this tool and everything that i need to do is to go to this uh tools oh i will put the link in the description for the github repository of these tools so I think that you don't know about that, but I have a repository for tools, plugins, and useful uh, utility nodes that I developed uh, with time. So I put them there. There are some other, especially plugins that help us develop games more quickly. I will. I think that I will talk more about those plugins in the next videos. <laughs> so uh, everything that you had to, that you have to do is to copy this to your project folder. So let me open this, open in file manager. Let me change to this view, make sure that I, I'm on the, the second view. So uh, I copied the asset bundler to the game uh, root node uh, here. Here it is, asset bundler. And back in Grow, I will open this script asset bundler uh, this is how it looks. It is quite complex by the moment. At the moment, uh, I still have to uh, refactor it a bit just so it's more readable and maintainable. But with the with this script opened in the file editor in this text editor, I will open the paradox scene showing file system. And I, what you must ensure is that you are with the scene selected like this. So make sure that this is selected here. I will actually take rid of my preface just so you can see this. So on the file system, you have to ensure that you have this selected because it will take the, the selection path here, get editor interface, get selected path. And you will click on file and run this script. So it created a folder with all the dependencies of this scene. I will open this in the file manager, copy this folder, go to Moon Teaser, open, uh, open Moon Teaser in file system, and I will throw that in the objects folder 
actually on actors actors folder a new folder I will call it paradox which is the name of the bots show everything here actually I can copy uh, move this to to this folder instead of the the bundler uh, delete apparently yeah and there is another tool let me close everything here there is another tool that helps you fix all the dependencies of the, the assets that you have in your project so this is a, a, a complete separate tool but you can use both together to, to actually fix everything that you need to make the scene work so let me show how this works if we just try to open the paradox scene here what is it yeah paradox you can see that there are a lot of dependencies and even if you try to fix them you will have to fix uh, only this scene so only the paradox scene and maybe uh, the other resources so for instance this resource path here this resource scene uh, the hurt box the hit box you'll have to fix everything by hand so to prevent that I made another tool which I call dependence fixer fixer copy uh, I'll copy that as well copy go to moon teaser open the the project in the file system paste the dependency fixer tool here and this dependency tool it works uh, quite similar to the to the asset bundler but uh, this one you have to to have the folder selected so let me show how this works uh, it will take the the folder and it will also um, go to try to enter in the hierarchy of the folders downwards to fix everything that is inside this folder so uh, to fix the, the paradox scene so let's ensure that it is not fixed you can see that we can open it if we try it would run into many errors so I will select this paradox scene go to the script folder let me close everything else here every other tab I will only have this dependency fixer file run and if I try to open the paradox scene again you can see that it opens uh, without any warnings and if I play it let me just move it to the center here yeah to the center thanks and if we play it there we have it there we have the the boss and I will port this to moon teaser right now so that's it uh, I will put the link to these tools in the description so you can obtain it. Please, if you find any bugs, if you want to contribute to that, to the, those tools, your contribution will be very appreciated. And don't forget that all of this is possible because I was working in a game on my studio, supported by my patrons and supported by previous sales. Consider making a donation or consider uh, becoming a patron i put the link in the description the link is on the the end screen as well so that i can work on more stuff like this so i can make your life easier <laughs> because i can apply the resources from patronage from donations from sales everything into this studio and remember everything is public domain so you can use it wherever you want however you want so uh that's it thank you so much for watching Keep developing and we'll see you the next time.